Those of us who love to make jewelry often find making earrings very satisfying because you can work up a pair really quickly. But how much thought do we put into the findings we use for earrings? Today I have for you a different kind of earring finding, one that I've ignored for years, but now may have become my new favorite. Hi there, Sandy here. Welcome to another Friday Findings video at KeepsakeCrafts.net. So when you think of earring findings, you probably most often think of this style in these ones that I have up here. Sometimes they're called French ear wires, sometimes they're called fish hook ear wires. You can buy them in bundles at the craft store. You can make them yourself, which is really nice, just with a piece of wire. They often have the little bead and the spring here for decoration. The other type that might come to mind are post style earring findings, which have a post on the back, hence the name. And sometimes they're just little studs. It's often though, it'll be something, whether a more decorative piece like these, or just a simple ball or half ball that has a loop on it for you to hang things from. But there's another style of ear wire that I have ignored completely for years. And the only reason I can think why is that they kind of resemble clip-on earrings. I found this in my stash. I have no idea how it got there. I have one. I don't wear clip-ons, never have. Uh, <laughs> but, but there it is. You can see how similar it looks to this, which is called a lever back ear wire. So perhaps that's why I've just ignored them. And I'm not sure how I ended up with my first pair, because like I said, I've seen them and just let my eyes slide right past them. But lately I've been realizing that I absolutely love the lever back ear wire because it's so simple to wear. One issue I've had throughout my life is carelessness and losing jewelry. And so I've made it a habit that I buy these things. These are the little, um, just the little stoppers that go on the French wires and it kind of sits behind your earlobe to keep it from falling off. So every single pair of my earrings has these on it. And it's not a huge deal. Like I said, it's kind of become a habit. But the lovely thing about the lever back ear wires is there's none of that. You just pop it up and you're done. It's secure, it's not going to go anywhere, and you don't have the extra thing to fiddle with. So these ear wires were sent to me by the nice folks at BB Craft and you can buy piles and piles of them for very little money. I'll have links to all of these products at my blog post if you want to see that. And they sent me a few different styles to look at. Of course, you can get them in different colors, different finishes, but there's a few different things you can get. Like these ones are kind of cute. They just have a little flower on there. Just a very simple decoration, a little flower. You could glue a little flat back crystal to that. You could color that with alcohol ink or other colorants and jazz it up a little. Or maybe you just want plain and simple. And then these ones are lever backs that are also bezels, which I think is pretty cute. Again, a different finish and you can get all of these in pretty much all of the finishes. And the operation is simple on all of them, and I find them really comfortable to wear. They seem to be balanced well, they hang well. I haven't come across any I didn't like. So these have a little 12 millimeter bezel. You could glue a rhinestone into here. You could put in a little polymer clay sculpture or an itty bitty embroidery, like I showed the silk ribbon embroidery. That would be pretty small, but it could be done. Anything you want to fill these with, you can fill them with. Resin, put things in there and then put resin over it. All sorts of possibilities. Now these ones that I got from BB Craft, which is these three. Don't you love these containers? Honestly, sometimes the choice in buying something for me is if it comes in a cool container. <laughs> There's those, and here are a few more that I have on my jewelry. Just simple ones. One thing that I got confused, I think the first pair I made kind of confused me, 
was that I was thinking the thicker part was the front. It kind of makes sense if you look at it. It seems like the part that stands out most should be the front. But the thicker part is that thick because it has to be wide enough to fit around the the part that goes through the ear. So the thinner part is the front. I think, yeah, I think it was this pair that I had them on backwards and I, I don't know, I was just confused. <laughs> it took me a bit to figure it out. Now most of these findings, I haven't come across any that have a closed loop. If you look at it closely, you'll see that there's usually a little split and you just need to open it with a pair of pliers. Just like that. I would be cautious about opening and closing it too many times because it, this piece could very easily get weak and brittle and break off. And actually that will happen with any of your earring findings. So don't mess with it too much until you're actually ready to put your final piece on it. But I haven't come across any that have a closed loop but it is something you might want to check. Before you make a pair of earrings, you might have to plan for wire wrapping that loop if it is closed. Now, all of these that I've shown you are just base metal ear wires, nothing fancy, but if you want something nicer, these ones I got from artbeads.com and they are gold filled. These earrings actually, in their previous life, were post earrings they had a little post right here. My mother-in-law gave these to me many years ago. It's funny, my husband told me after she gave them to me that she had told him she'd pick them out for me because she thought they were a little weird like me. I'll take it as a compliment. <laughs> but I was really sad that one of these posts broke off quite some time ago and I, I had them in a baggie waiting for them to be repaired and then one day it was like a forehead slap moment I said well duh there's already a loop right here so because these are gold with nice little freshwater pearls I invested in the gold filled ear wires with the little heart which makes me think of my mother-in-law and so now I can wear these again so just an alternative for you I love me my fish hook style ear wires and I have loads of earrings with them but these are just a smidgen easier to wear pop it open put them on close it and you're done and they're secure so it's just an alternative to consider when you're thinking about what kind of findings to use for your earrings so I hope you enjoyed this video if you're interested in these supplies from BB craft there will be links to all of them at my blog post and I'll link to Actually, most of these earring tutorials are patron videos. So if you're interested in bonus tutorials for yourself, check out my Patreon page. Thanks so much for watching. Happy creating. Bye-bye.